What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and a lot of you guys have been asking me how to use water and stain repellent spray to keep your shoes looking fresh, so I figured I'd make a video about it. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys, and also thank you to Rejuvenator for sponsoring this video. I'm sure you guys already know about Rejuvenator, it's my go-to when it comes to all my sneaker cleaning needs. Obviously today we're going to be using the Rejuvenator water and stain repellent, but they do make a lot of other excellent products that you guys should check out. For example, about a month ago I made a video about Rejuvenator's advanced sneaker cleaning solution. This is kind of the go-to when it comes to cleaning up your sneakers. It also comes with a full laundry solution too if you want to run your shoes through the washing machine. If you guys are interested in checking out how to use this product, make sure to click the link at the top of the screen. But actually the product that I use the most is the Rejuvenator Sneaker Wipe. Basically this product is a sneaker wipe that you can actually use to clean up sort of light stains and any dirt that gets on your sneakers during normal wear. I'm actually going to use this guy right now just to clean up the back of the midsole right there because I realized it's a little dirty. Good as new. These wipes are great if you want to keep your shoes looking fresher for longer. That's why I use so many of them because I live in New York and my shoes get dirty almost immediately. So these guys have sort of become my go-to. Um, I haven't resorted to putting them in my wallet yet but Actually, that might not be a bad idea. If you guys want to check out the sneaker wipes or any of Rejuvenator's other products, including the water and stain repellent, make sure to click the link in the top of the description. Also, make sure to use my discount code SETH for 10% off your entire order. But now, let's treat these shoes. So what the water and stain repellent is, is just a spray that I guess repels water and stains. But the great thing about Rejuvenator's water and stain repellent is that it works on leather, nubuck, suede, canvas, and nylon. Today I'm going to be using the Rejuvenator water and stain shield on this pair of white Air Jordan 3's which are obviously leather. Well, synthetic leather. This pair is kind of notorious for not having the best leather in the world. So before you actually get into using the water and stain repellent, what you're going to want to do is make sure your shoes are clean and dry. So you might want to use the advanced sneaker cleaning solution or the sneaker wipe beforehand if your shoes are dirty. I try and do this when my shoes are brand new so that I can get them before I have any chance of getting dirt or water or anything on them. So what you want to do after your shoes are looking fresh is take your water and stain repellent, take off the lid too of course, and then hold it about six to eight inches away from the shoe. One thing I would definitely recommend is try to do this outdoors because then you don't get spray all over the place and you know any kind of spray or aerosol usually has some sort of scent to it. You also don't want spray to land all over your stuff like your clothes or anything like that. I mean then again that would repel water and stains so maybe it's not the worst idea in the world but just, just do it outside. But if you can't spray your shoes outside, I definitely suggest doing it in a well-ventilated area. Once you're ready to spray the shoes, hold the spray about six to eight inches away from the sneaker, and then apply the spray in light, overlapping, even strokes. I kind of do it the way I'd airbrush or spray paint something. Don't forget, I used to be a sneaker customizer, so I have some experience in that. You definitely want to make sure you're hitting all the outside parts of the shoe, like the leather, in this case, the elephant print, the midsole, even the laces, to be honest. Get both sides, the toe box, the heel tab, pretty much anything that you want protected. And a really great thing about this spray is that even though you're putting a layer of protectant over the shoe, it doesn't actually change the finish of the shoe, so it's not going to get any shinier or any more matte or anything like that. It's just going to look like a regular Air Jordan 3 or whatever shoe that you're spraying. Then what you want to do once you've sprayed the shoe is let it sit for at least six hours. So if you're planning to stunt and you want to keep your shoes looking fresh, make sure to spray them like six hours before you go out. If you want to do more than one layer, that's totally fine. It's just going to protect the shoe more. You just want to make sure that the spray is drying between each layer. Oh, one other thing, when you're applying multiple layers, try and keep them more light layers than super heavy layers because it'll just work a little bit better that way and they'll have more time to absorb. But guys, I'm actually pretty prepared for this video. I sprayed this right shoe six hours ago and this left shoe has been left untreated. So just to see if the Rejuvenator actually works, I've got uh, a bowl to keep my uh, floor clean and dry. I've also got a glass of water. Oh, shoot. So obviously the bowl didn't work, so that's great. Um, and then I've also got some Hot Ones hot sauce, the last stab because you guys know I love hot sauce. I've done a couple hot sauce videos and I have actually dropped hot sauce on myself so I feel like this would be a good test of whether this spray will help keep the hot sauce off my shoes. So after we tested the water, I'll test some of the hot sauce and we'll see how it goes. So here's the first test on the untreated pair of shoes. I'm just going to pour some water on the toe box and see what happens. So the toe of the shoe is wet. I mean, obviously, because I just poured water on it. Um, it doesn't seem to be coming off though. Let me get a towel. I mean, it didn't really do anything to the shoe other than just get it wet, which is, I mean, I guess not the worst thing in the world. Now let me try the Rejuvenator treated shoe, which is the right shoe. I definitely remember that. <laughs> I didn't have to test a little bit earlier just to make sure. Okay, so here we go. So on the Rejuvenator shoe, the water just sort of beads off. That's actually really cool. To be honest guys, I knew that was going to happen because I've tried this product before. I've used it in a lot of my shoes, so I mean, oh my god, it works. Oh man, my shoes are dry. 
In all seriousness though, it does really work and I am actually pretty happy with it. Now what I haven't tried is actually dropping some hot sauce on my shoes. And to be honest with you guys, I'm actually a little nervous to try it on the untreated shoe because I think it's gonna dye these raw edges of the leather. So I might actually only try it on the treated pair because I have some faith in Rejuvenator. I'm hoping it's gonna work. But just to let you guys know, the best way to actually treat like a drop or a spill or something like that is don't rub it off right away. Kind of pour some water over the shoe and let it run off first and then rub off what's left over. Kind of bummed that I'm wasting some hot one sauce, but you know what? It's probably better for my bowels if it goes on the shoe and not in my mouth. Oh, it even smells hot. Ugh. We'll see what happens. Not too bad, it came right off. Now if it really is a really bad stain, it doesn't hurt to actually go over it with some sneaker wipes or something like that, just to get the last little bit of residue off. But it's like there was no butt burning hot sauce on this shoe, which is cool. That actually worked really well and it didn't even dye the edges of the leather. So guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the video today. If you have any other questions about how to use Rejuvenator water and stain shield, leave those in the comment section down below. I'll try to get to as many as I can. And if not, I'm sure there's gonna be some people who actually know how to use the product who can definitely help you out. But to be honest, the best place to actually buy this product and find out how to use it is to go to Rejuvenator Com. There's a link in the description below. And also, like I mentioned before, make sure to use my discount code SETH for 10% off your entire order. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you want to see more content just like this. And follow me in all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below.